Hello everyone, I'm Apparition Snow, I'm so and this is the quarry. It was, it, it was chapter four. I, I, I don't don't panic. even know what it was. It was so fast, and and there was a uh, there was a hunter, and it was just. Yeah, where was the hunter? Oh, so I didn't see. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Ah. So I'm wondering. I thought maybe they were human. But one of them had pointed ears, so ooh, he does not look good at all. Nick, hey, buddy, can you tell us what happened? A little attack. Where's Happy? He's super out of it, man. He we needs need to know meds. what happened. All right. There was there was a guy there, but. There's some kind of... Some kind of animal... What the hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? It's not an animal, I don't think. Well, maybe it will be classified as an animal, I'm not sure. Is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because... Teeth run on top of me. I think it was a bear. Nope. Full-size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I, I thought we don't get bears around here. No. Uh, oh fuck! Look at that. Oh fuck. shit! That black stuff. That's Ooh. that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Oh. Um. Apply pressure. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Get it out. How long do I have to do this for? You're okay. Good? It's okay. Uh, fuck that. Hurt. We should amputate. Um. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? Uh. There's Why medication. Would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What? What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? Maybe applying pressure was a bad idea because it maybe I kept it I in. Even know what I, saw. Holy shit. I don't know. He's not going to turn into one of those things, is he? Fuck. Is it another hunter? Mm, just wait. Who's there? Shh. Ryan. It's one of. What if it's Jacob or Emma? What if yeah. it's not? Exactly. <laughs> Be careful. They know where the campfire is. If it is Jacob or Emma, so. Um. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run! <laughs> Very brave. Alright. So, uh... Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? More wrestling. What? No, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot! I'm here to save you. Huh. They kind of already beat oh, you to shit. it there. Nick. Is he okay? No. Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. Well, then you should probably... Um... Hmm. What happened to you? So wait, what happened to you? Right, right, okay, so, like I was saying, okay? I heard Abby screaming, so I came running, like as fast as I could. From the lake? Yeah, and then and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this like, I don't know, like a, like a booby trap? Like some sort of hunter's trap? The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, just zoop, 
<laughs> so I'm hanging there, half naked, and then this guy with like a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes. But I taught that guy a lesson, booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby um, back to the lodge, like right now. Uh, hard agree. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? I think oh, it's yeah, blood. No, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like um, he had like a bottle. Thing. I don't know, dude. It's like a really long story. Ew. Yeah. No, it's super. They're not. They're very dismissive about there being another person out there. Oh, Jesus Christ! I can't <laughs> believe me a little bit concerned. I, I saw a fucking body in the lake. Like, a dead one? Oh no, 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 no. Um, one of the <laughs> one of the swimmers from the varsity swim team. He got lost on the way to practice, and it was yes, a dead one, dumbass. Of course you did, Jacob. No, for real, I did. I, I figured it must have been one of the counselors that didn't show up, but I couldn't tell because it was like all, all bloaty and gross. Something's not right. With go get just the situation uh, in general. Excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? Um, no, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, Jacob I don't is think kind of an idiot dude. a little bit. What? At times. Get. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, give it to Caitlin. She's what the responsible stop? one. We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob. We're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan! Sorry. This is bullshit. Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. Not necessarily. There is what, someone risk another over there. Running with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another uh. boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. Another boat at the zipline? We need line? to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. But yeah, I have an idea. Uh, oh, wheelbarrow. Are we gonna have to steer it? Okay. Let's see what tonight brings. Emma? Is she on okay. the... Here's a riddle for you. The island? What's got or... two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool. Well, one thumb. One available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on this strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. Mm hmm. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over did there. Did she just I'm gonna go swim across? Out from that sweet, sweet panorama. Or did goodness. she use a boat? Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back because I don't. But even if I did, I can't. Because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You know what? Sorry, I'm venting. Well, explore venting. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. Where there's a person. Um, I like going backwards a little bit in case there's something I'm missing. I also want to see if she took a boat or not. I hear a squawk. That you, Jacob? That's not Jake. That's the old guy. Hmm. Yes. The magician. The magician, the incredible, the unbelievable, the mystical, sensational, perceptive manipulation, the work of a magician. Now you see it, now you don't. Blink and you miss it, and you wouldn't want to miss it. Oh? So... 
I'm just wondering, where is the... Oh, maybe not. I feel like when there's... I could be wrong. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but I th think when there's, like, the raven squawks, that means that there's a card close by. Which I've just gotten one, so... No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say Athens? that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TVH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. In oh. the lake. <laughs> oh, please, God, no. Okay. We're I mean, it would make go sense. Ignore that. Yeah. <laughs> It would also potentially be a good excuse of why not to be, uh, not to swim in the lake. Canoes. No, oh, can't go over there. And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I've made my point. She must be just recording because she doesn't have service. So this island is Ooh. like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of oh. like float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having also a hot summer true. fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. He's all sad mm. because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative by mean a fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I... Take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I hmm. guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Oh, is this gonna be... Does it... I'm confused on if it goes all oh, the way up. Oh, what the hell. We're in it now anyway. Well and truly in the thick of it. Because you know what else? I was really excited for the next part of my life, you know? I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's Quarry will just be but a distant memory. And you know it's just one night and you have to make the most of all your opportunities and yada, yada, yada. I guess... I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? That's fine. Abby sees me as this confident person, but really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. Alrighty. Maybe this isn't the path to go down, but I just hope there isn't any things around. And by things, I mean more creatures. This is actually kind of fun. I feel like this is the first time I've been alone all summer. Kind of like it. I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, I kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching. Nothing personal. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. 
She's a tad wishy-washy. I mean, who knows? Maybe in 50 years we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And that spark that changed our lives forever. Then we'll be like 70-year-old lovers or whatever and have crazy walker sex. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Only time will tell, Jakey boy. And as they say, time makes fools of us all. But we will be the oldest, sexiest Isn't fools it love that makes were. fools of us all? <laughs> Until then, I gotta do my thing. Not time. Sorry, buddy. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't know about Emma. She's kind of... She's totally justified in wanting to have, like, a non-committed relationship. Like, she... You know, uh, established that it was supposed to be just for the summer, and then she doesn't want an actual relationship from it, and that's totally fine. But she's also playing games with Jacob and trying to make him jealous and stuff. So, I don't know. That's just been lit. Thinking about it, how could this have been Mr. H when he was back at the lodge? Ah, that's from... That's the fire that was burning before? Quoth Box of matches. the raven nevermore. Box of matches from the Harbinger Home Motel. A few matchsticks have been snapped off and there are marks on the striking surface. Oh, there's another thing with this. So a handmade sign warning people off swimming near the boathouse. How dangerous can a lake be? It's highly likely the no swimming sign was less to do with the camper's safety and more about the discarded body hidden in the depths. Is there... No. Okay. Thought I saw a glimmer in the distance, but maybe not. Hmm. Let's to go up. I'm just curious if there's anything around. I guess I gotta do this one handed, huh? Um, no, you should probably just put your phone away. That didn't sound great. <laughs> oh, shit. Just, just stick the phone. Oh, shit, no. Ah! Ah! Hmm. <laughs> try again. is the luxurious Skyway Treehouse, obviously. Constructed in the year 1805 by a blindfolded <laughs> man who used only the finest rotting wood, rusty nails, and donkey spit that money could buy. A real Hackett vintage classic. Hmm. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. He's gonna run into something. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... I don't recognize this. Ooh. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings, or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? <laughs> so literally no great right answers. Maybe do some snooping first. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. Hmm. 
Uh, <laughs> that might Fine. come in handy. Okay, so I think there's something up there. And it is not going to make me jump. I can promise you that much. Okay, so she opens it anyway. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. There is one of those things. Uh, a, 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 a taser? Oh, that's not human. No, don't take a photo. Bad idea. Just run. Oh! Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Shit. Shit. Shit! Oh, I failed on all accounts. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Oh, no. Well, now she doesn't have... Spray? Does she have bear spray? Okay. Top door. That might have been a bad idea. Uh, oh no. Oh, okay. <gasps> Are we dead? Um, shit. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, I think we're dead. Shit. That's... Oh, that's very... Fuck, I wanted her... Oh, okay, well... Easy. We're not doing oh, the, um... He's okay. Everybody lives... Ending. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry, I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. <laughs> Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> Strength? Oh. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are going to find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Um... I really hope they're going to be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is going to cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better well, than other. Yeah. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. The old hag again? Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. Hmm. Why 
is it she kind of targeting Dylan? I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Well, I think you can... You don't know that. We don't know that. No, it's true. Caitlin said. So all I'm saying is that we are not professionals, okay? We don't know. We He could have rabies or something. Way to be optimistic, man. I'm just being realistic. We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? <laughs> Who does uh -huh. says 911? Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Um, do you have to be specific? Well, do you need to specifically ask for an ambulance, or can you just say, help, help? So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help, my friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. Well, it's teeth. better than nothing. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also... Maybe by us. Okay. <laughs> and they cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident. Long story. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Nine one one. What's wrong? Dead. You sure you didn't hang up? Well, did you hang up? How could I have hung up? I don't know. You know, maybe you slipped and hung up or something. Do you know how phones work? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Real phones, not cell phones? Do you know how phones work? Okay, well, you broke it. I did not. <sighs> you can try redialing. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Ah. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. Mm. Um. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's it's probably the weather. Mm, weather no, Ryan? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. <laughs> We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. Oh. Huh. <laughs> yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Bear. Because he's got one, right? Defensive? Do you think Don't she really be needs too it, aggressive. though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. She's staying in the lodge. We're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. True. When? Like 20 seconds ago. True. Okay, sure. But that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. <laughs> give gun. 
Uh, all right. I right. feel like. Hey, we'll still have mine. In case Nick ends up me, I might let turning. You Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. <laughs> Well, am I interrupting something? That was weird. Wasn't it? Chin up, big guy. It I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Oh. Oh, good to see you. Are good we at the end of the chapter you. already? <sighs> a time again, is it? Yeah. I kind of failed. Strength. Hmm. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose. There are forces at work within us all, and with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. Mm hmm. The magician, <laughs> the incredible, the unbelievable, the mystical, sensational, perceptive manipulation, the work of a magician. Now you see it, now you don't. Blink and you miss it. And you wouldn't want to miss it. Oh. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? I would. I'm just not sure which one. We'll see more. Choose one. Choose wisely. I th think the magician. Because blink and you'll miss it. Uh. So okay. it's goodbye again. I'll leave okay. you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Okay. Thanks, Granny. Alright, well I think this is the end of the chapter, so I will see you all in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you soon.